Hello YouTube. It is Tuesday, starting a new one. Today we're starting with a 2020 Airstream Classic wide body. And we're going with 600 watts of additional solar. It already has some existing from the factory on it. First thing we're going to do is we're going with custom tilt brackets uh, because we got to be by the uh, AC units, the front and rear AC. We're going to have a panel on each side of each one, so four brackets have to be custom tilt. So let's go mock up and uh, see what kind of aluminum we need to order and what it's going to take to get it done. All right, so where we're at with this is made some mock ups of a couple of pieces so far and what it's going to be I'm gonna set you down here I need my hands to talk so this would be a six inch piece at the base out towards the edge it can't be much longer than six inches because of the curve so this is about the longest that I could get and have everything touch um, and then this line right here which is a square nice big square piece like this that is the bracket this two inch piece is what will bolt to the um, the frame of the solar panel so it will look something like this the rest of this is just excess which I'll go ahead and cut off okay so then if I hold, this is the width of the panel, 21 inches. If I hold my mocked up bracket on there, I can see that out at the edge on the far side, so this would be a three inch by three inch L bracket. And this will be the portion that sticks up on this, the side of the curve. And then the panel would sit kind of like this on it. So it takes the curve of the roof out of the panel so that everything can fit. And it also gets the, the panel close to level. Uh, I'm going to have to raise it like five and a half or six inches out at the side to, to get it all out of it, which um, it already has some existing panels. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just matching what's there as far as the uh, the tilt and the angle. So that that is about what it'll look like. Now on the back side of this, so if I tilt this way, this, this mock-up tells me that I have about a half inch width right here so when I do my hole for the hardware that's all the more hold on let me mark this a little better here okay so this is kind of how it is supposed to sit so and you can see the, the drawing should be really close so you can see the transparency of that bracket. So that, when it's put onto the curved roof, which we'll go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so this is my mock up. This is my pivot point. You see, I have an issue and on this side from too high. I'm gonna get that cut down about. I gotta get it cut down a lot. They put that right on the edge. So these are just gonna sit a little bit higher than those. That's not that. eh, I'll come up with something. But it's supposed to be level with those. So. 
what I may do is I may end the other bracket back down here. Just do a short bracket. And let the end run to nothing. But as of right now, this is the tilt bracket. Something like that right there. Oh, is that going to make up with your recording? No. Okay. So, this is my bracket, not the panel. The panel sits another inch and a half on top of this. So, it's not going to be the same height, it's going to have to be taller. There's just no way around it. Maybe if I went with an inch bracket on the panel, and that would lower me down a lot. I'd have to get this cut off at an inch high. Lots to think about. This one's challenging. Hmm. Let's go bonk it up as an inch. Alright. Now we're going to one inch. Let's go see what this one looks like. We're getting warmer. Obviously, we're on a farm. Okay, so if I put this kind of like that, I shorten the bracket down to this. I'll take this out of here. Still part of the process. Okay, so if I at the end of the bracket, which still has to mount to the panel, so it has to be this long. But if I cut the end at a long angle, that gives me the ability to tilt more. Let's put this on the other side. To it. Obviously this will have to cut off. And then the uh like that and bracket. Oh look at that. Almost 90 degrees right there. And I keep the same plane as the existing panel. I'll just be about that much taller come out it'll all look nice and neat uh, going with a 20 inch panel it's actually 21 inches wide it's the uh, Renji Eclipse 100 watt panels and if I go up just a little bit yeah that would be probably best right there look at that so I think that's money so now what I need to do is just pinch this. Shoot, I don't have my pen. Let's go get a pen. Because we moved the bracket further up the edge of the roof, the angle has changed. And when that is the case, we have to draw new lines so on this bracket that much of it has to be cut off which I have an aluminum blade I can easily rip that off that's no problem 
probably space three more holes out in it so that once you tilt the panel up then uh, you have the ability to put the, um, uh, the, the arm so that you can tilt the panel up out of the way. So that's my mock-up right there. Standard three inch by three inch, eighth inch thick, uh, one inch L bracket, 21 inches long. Make sure that this is 21 inches long because I did not measure it. And it is 21 and almost a half. So also on the high side, top of the roof, at the top of the curve, where, okay, so you've got your panel, like this, got this on the roof, kind of at about that angle. Panel goes up like this, but it also has to go up this way too. So you've got to cut or round if you have a jigsaw with a metal blade. You've got to round that point off because if you don't, it'll puncture the roof whenever you pivot depending on where your hole is so and depending on if you have the bracket on the the inside of your your bottom plate bracket which for this will make them 12 inches should be about right so let's do take this down to one inch now let's build a full mock-up be able to tilt that way with the uh, AC unit which is just out of frame. The AC unit's right there. We are putting six panels, six 100 watt panels. They're a little, just a tick over 40 and a tick over 20 are the dimensions uh, and that's in inches. So then when we go this way, um, I pulled the, the bracket back up but you get almost a 90 degree tilt. So that is how it's going to be. Let's go this way. I know I keep repeating myself, it's annoying to me too. The frame. So yeah, it should work out. Seem like there's not much over on this side. I'd have to take this down about half of this because it right now it's at um, 12 inches, and at 12 inches, it's almost an inch up, and there's no way that it'll bend to that. So yeah, we're going to go with. Uh, Gotta have room for that, so. About there. Just gonna kinda hang out with this edge. Yeah, let me go make that change down to uh, six inches. So, three additional holes here for um, tilting. Same thing on this side three additional holes probably not spaced out like that but can you get the gist then on this we go with one two three four additional holes spaced out along the uh, one by one the uh, rail that goes onto the panel kind of like this so this will mount to the size which here. All right, this will mount to the panel. It actually will not be that long. It will be this long. I have to take some more out of the front side of this. About right there. 
this side. That's the money right there. That's what it's gonna take. Sun's going down. I'll set you guys kind of right here. Okay, so this is the drip edge, rain gutter drip edge. And the panel will come out and just be kind of flush to it. And then when we tilt up, it'll be like this. We'll have multiple holes in that. We can get our tilt on. And then we can go this way. Same thing. Because of the curve of the roof. We can tilt all the way up to 90 degrees on this side and we have to get a hole really far out to the edge on this end that way so that when they when they pivot they don't get caught action camera at its finest in the dirt so anyhow what I was saying was where I so rudely dropped all of you was that on this edge it has to be rounded and the hole has to be very close out to the edge that way so that when also rounded when you put the two together and they pivot it doesn't hit on that side and it also does not hit on that side, if I actually stick the uh, mock bolt in there. So here, this is this side. See how it barely clears it? But over this way. Mm -hmm. Trying to give you a good angle on it, but the... Uh, that thing is just in the way. There, see how it clears. So, on my cardboard and silver tape design, we're going to measure some stuff and order a bunch of uh, aluminum L from the local, well, not so local, it's about 30 miles away, um, metal shop. So, That'll work. Alright, let's make our list. 